Have you ever wondered in the grand scheme of the universe where do we stand? This is the cosmic question, a question that has sparked the curiosity of humans for millennia. We find ourselves in an expansive universe, a cosmos so large and complex that it's hard to truly comprehend its enormity. This vast cosmos is constantly evolving with faraway galaxies, nebulae and celestial bodies dancing to the cosmic ballet. Every twinkle of a star, every supernova explosion and every swirling galaxy is a chapter in the grand story of the cosmos. Understanding the evolution of the cosmos is not just about satisfying human curiosity, it's about comprehending our place in the universe, about realizing the fragility and fleeting nature of our existence. As we delve into the evolution of the cosmos, we begin to understand our own insignificance and the incredible vastness of the universe. Our journey begins approximately 13.8 billion years ago with a singularity known as the Big Bang. Imagine, if you will, a state of nothingness. Then in an instant, everything we know and don't know, all the energy, matter, space and time erupting from a point of infinite density. This is the Big Bang Theory, a concept that has revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. This theory suggests that the universe expanded from an incredibly high temperature, high density state, a fiery, dense particle soup, if you will. It was so hot, in fact, that atoms could not yet form. Instead, the universe was filled with elementary particles and radiation, a cosmic, primordial soup. As the universe expanded, it began to cool. This cooling allowed for the formation of protons and neutrons, the building blocks of atoms. Now imagine a cosmic clock ticking away. It's not until about three minutes after the Big Bang that these protons and neutrons start to combine to form the first atoms, primarily hydrogen and helium. Fast forward a few hundred thousand years. The universe has cooled enough for electrons to combine with these nuclei to form neutral atoms. This process, known as recombination, allowed photons to travel freely for the first time, resulting in what we now observe as the cosmic microwave background. A snapshot of the universe when it was just a baby, about 378,000 years old. So why does this all matter? Well, this process set the foundation for the formation of stars, galaxies, and eventually, life as we understand it. Without the Big Bang, there would be no us, no Earth, no Milky Way. The Big Bang set the stage for the universe as we know it, and it's still expanding even today. This expansion is a cosmic performance that has been going on for billions of years, a performance that we are all a part of in this grand cosmic theater. After the Big Bang, the universe was a hot, dense sea of particles. Over time, these particles began to form structures. Imagine a cosmic soup simmering with energy and potential. As this cosmic soup cooled, particles began to clump together, drawn to each other by the irresistible force of gravity. These clumps of matter started to grow, forming the first stars. Picture a field of sparkling lights, each one a star, suspended in the vastness of space. These stars were not scattered randomly, but instead, they clustered together, forming the nuclei of future galaxies. As time went on, gravity continued its ceaseless work. It pulled in more matter, causing these clusters to grow and evolve. With each passing eon, these clusters of stars became more complex and diverse, eventually forming the galaxies we see today. Now, galaxies aren't all the same. Some are spiral-shaped, like our own Milky Way, with arms of stars and gas spiraling out from a central bulge. Others are elliptical, appearing as large, round masses of stars, and still others are irregular, with no defined shape. Each type of galaxy is a testament to the complex and varied ways in which matter can organize itself under the influence of gravity, but let's not forget about the dark matter. This mysterious substance, which we cannot see or touch, plays a crucial role in galaxy formation. It's believed that dark matter provides the gravitational scaffolding upon which galaxies are built. Without it, our universe would look very different. So why does all of this matter? Well, understanding how galaxies form helps us understand the universe itself. Galaxies are like cosmic laboratories, allowing us to study phenomena that we cannot recreate on Earth. They give us clues about the nature of dark matter, the life cycle of stars, and the evolution of the universe itself. These galaxies, with their billions of stars, are the building blocks of the universe. Each one is a testament to the power of gravity the mystery of dark matter, and the incredible complexity of our cosmos.
About 4.6 billion years ago in a galaxy we now call the Milky Way, a particular cloud of gas and dust began to collapse under its own gravity. This celestial cloud, known as a nebula, was vast. So vast, in fact, that it was about 100 times the size of our current solar system. As the nebula collapsed, it started to spin and flatten into a spinning disk of material. Picture a cosmic pizza dough, twirling and stretching in the hands of the universe. At the heart of this spinning disk, where the pull of gravity was the strongest, the pressure and temperature escalated. The escalating heat and pressure ignited nuclear fusion, giving birth to our sun. This fiery star's gravity then attracted surrounding gas and dust, forming a spinning protoplanetary disk around it. From this protoplanetary disk, our planets began to take shape. Tiny particles of dust and ice started to collide and stick together, forming planetesimals. These planetesimals continued to collide and merge, growing larger and larger. Over millions of years, these grew into the protoplanets, the early versions of the planets we know today. The inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, formed close to the Sun where it was too hot for gases to condense. Composed primarily of rock and metal, these terrestrial planets were small and dense. Further out, beyond the frost line, the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, took shape. Here it was cold enough for ices to condense, allowing these gas giants to grow massive, enveloped in thick atmospheres of hydrogen, helium, and other gases. Lastly, the leftover debris from this formation process coalesced into the asteroid belt, comets and moons, each with their own unique story to tell. And so, our solar system was born, providing a home for life as we know it. Each planet, each moon, each asteroid, all products of this cosmic dance of gravity and matter. And within this cosmic neighborhood, on a small, blue planet, life sparked into existence, setting the stage for the story of us. So what's next for our ever-expanding universe? In the grand cosmic theater, the future holds a plethora of possibilities. Let's delve into some of the most fascinating theories astronomers and physicists have proposed. First, we have the theory of continual expansion. Just as a balloon inflates when filled with air, some believe our universe is expanding at an accelerating pace. If this theory holds true, galaxies will drift farther apart, stars will burn out, and the universe will plunge into a realm of darkness known as the Big Freeze. Next, we have the theory of contraction, or the Big Crunch. This proposes that the expansion of the universe will eventually slow down and reverse. As a result, galaxies, stars, and ultimately everything in the universe would be drawn back into a singular point, potentially leading to another Big Bang and the birth of a new universe. Finally, we have the chilling theory known as heat death. This theory proposes the universe will reach a state of maximum entropy, where all energy is evenly distributed. In this scenario, no stars will shine, no life could exist, and the universe would be in a state of complete disorder. However, it's important to note that these are just theories. They're based on our current understanding of the universe, which is constantly evolving with every new discovery. In fact, the universe itself might hold surprises that could completely upend these theories. There might be unknown forces or phenomena waiting to be discovered that could alter the destiny of our cosmos. The future of the universe is a cosmic mystery that we are just beginning to unravel. Each theory paints a different picture of the future, and only time will tell which, if any, will come to pass. While the future of the universe is still uncertain, one thing is clear. Our journey through the cosmos is far from over. As we've seen, the cosmos has a rich and complex history and an even more uncertain future. We've journeyed from the explosive birth of the universe in the Big Bang to the formation of galaxies swirling with billions of stars. We've explored the birth of our own solar system, a cosmic ballet of dust and gas, and pondered the future of the universe, a story yet unwritten. This cosmic evolution is a testament to the ever-changing nature of the universe. It's a story of creation, of transformation, of the interplay between light and dark, matter and energy. It's a tale that stretches across billions of years and unimaginable distances, yet it's also a story that connects us all. We are all cosmic voyagers made from the same star stuff that fills the night sky. 
Our understanding of the universe is continually evolving, just like the cosmos itself. So, keep exploring, keep questioning, and remember, we are all made of star stuff.